some of you all think the stuff is laughable and when a person call you on the stuff then you want to be so defensive and then you try to attack let me un let you understand this stop making excuses for females that end up with babies by themselves because every situation is different i'm gonna say this again every broken home is not broken because the male sometimes the home is broken because the female because see you have to know the backgrounds of the families before you speak on people's family each situation is different there's so many scenarios in life broken homes bro single moms sometimes these women not all choose to be by themselves some just want to have babies some don't some get stuck with babies because the man don't want to be a man but do not put every young man or man in that category that they don't want to be a part of their child life there are some women that refuses to be accountable for their behavior and so they get people that's gullible to believe the bullshit of the storyline that they're innocent all of them are not innocent. You have those that believe in the welfare system and they seek out young men that may come from a prominent or a person that may come with an average family or when I say average, may come from a middle class family. They think, oh, he's going to work or he may be in sports so he may be in this or he may be in college. They target, some young ladies target certain type of men and those men sometimes make poor decisions. They didn't use protection just like the female did. You cannot blame the female, the male, without bringing the female. The female should have used protection as well, just like the male. Maybe they should not have even had sex before marriage, but that didn't happen. We're not going to sit up here and feel sorry for every young lady in America that is a single mom is because the man abandoned her. Now, I, I can speak on this. I can t truly speak on this. But I have seen other scenarios where men have actually tried to be a part of these children's lives day one and they have controlling families and when you do the history there is no men or male figures in that family shame on shame on not fact by fact finding about those families but shit happens there's women that are in the system because their parents are in the system and sometimes good young men average young men mate up with these young ladies and have babies and they get caught in the legal system so we're not going to say that there are innocent women being abandoned some of these women choose not to be in these man's life and they choose to be the dominant party i've seen grandmothers and great grandmothers be dominant and they choose to not have male figures in their children's their daughter's life they just want the baby so stop it it's more than one scenario in his life stop feeling sorry for every single mom because they have different ideas